What's up guys? Today we're checking out a really cool product and I haven't got through everything yet but I wanted to take this video for you just to kind of give you an idea of the menu settings and what it has because there's wasn't a whole lot of information out there and it looked interesting so this is just an initial kind of overview video. Uh, I'll hook it up to the system and mess with it later. So this is the Stetsum X STX2448 digital audio processor. They're about 125 bucks. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Very cool tool. There's so many options on here that I can't go through them all. But what I will do, the instructions are in Brazil, I think Portuguese. So I translated all the pages to the manual. So after this short video, you can use those and pause it for reference so you can have the instructions in English so I figured that would be real helpful to some people so now you have your it's got your two inputs and it has four sets of left and right outputs and it has sequencers I think those turn and off turn on and off other accessories but let's just go through the menu right now I just wanted to show you guys so we have audio inputs, graphic EQ, and what's nice about this is, look, you can go from 25 hertz, 40, 63, 100, all the way up, and it has pretty close increments, so it's a nice EQ, and we're at 1.6K, 4K, 6.3, so you have a pretty wide graphic equalizer range and it's a lot wider than um, a lot of the regular slide EQs especially in the lower section where they only usually give you about 50 and 125 Hertz so this having the 25 Hertz 40 63 and 100 is already a really nice feature for subwoofers so let's say we click on 40 Hertz now we can raise and lower the DB And then you press and hold the round button to go back. Um, and then you also have an input parametric EQ. I'm not sure what this does yet. Um, obviously you can EQ the output and the input. So I'm assuming you can EQ the input signal. Um, so let's just press it right there at 735. Gain up and down. And then also you have a Q setting. I believe what this does is it simulates the cue of a box, how it would change the sound. Um, so the lower the cue, kind of the tighter and more tight the uh, sound will be. And the higher the cue, the warmer the, the sound will be, kind of simulating a larger box. I believe so. Don't bite my head off if I'm wrong. I just got this thing. I just wanted to show you a video of like the settings it has. Okay, so we'll press that and go out. Output parameter EQ, same thing. It's showing only one frequency on that, but it's infinitely adjustable. And then the gain, and then the Q. So we'll exit out of there. Routing, click on that. Um, so you can either choose just one input, like if you have, if you just want like the left input or the right input, and you can do one or both and then select the output that you want it to go to. So if you're outputting it to a mid amp or a, a sub only amp, you can kind of change what each of those outputs is getting. Crossover has the high pass filter, which is nice. And you can, again, set each output individually. So if you have a sub amp, you can change that setting. A mid amp, you can change that setting. Delay, I think that's for if you were going to get some kind of a sound stage or had speakers like far apart. Phase, so you can change the phase, 180, that's kind of a nice feature sometimes. You can do it 0 or 180 out to kind of change the phase of the speakers or subwoofer. Limiter, it has a decibel threshold, so like if you really crank it and you just want to be able to turn your volume knob all the way up and don't want it to over put out, 
you can set like a threshold there there and then attack is I think how aggressive it, it, it adjusts it and then the gain that's pretty simple you just kind of level it to where the gain is putting out what, what it would naturally put out so you don't have clipping mute button so you can mute each one of your outputs so if you just want if you're testing something and you let's say you want to shut off your your mid and your high amp you can shut those off and just mess with your subwoofer box so that's nice you don't have to go unplug the remote cable if you have a couple amps you can just shut each one off and then it also has standard presets so like you know just like almost like a regular car stereo you have flat loud loudness bass boost mid mid bass treble boost and then you can save different profiles which is nice then you can have a, a password oh wow there's a tone generator that could come in handy too when uh, testing subs nice and that's infinitely adjustable so wow that's basically going in one hertz increments and the gain for the tone generator frequency sweep hmm I think that is where it'll start at like 10 you can set it to go from 10 to 50 hertz if you wanted press and hold that to go back you can tweak the train the screen saver I think you can change the name yeah you can change the screen saver name main menu language sequencer so anyway that's a quick overview um, man there's a lot of settings in here again this is like 120 bucks I put a link down below if you wanted to check it out on Amazon um, and again I translated all the pages in the manual so go ahead and hold tight and you guys can check that out for the reference um, this thing doesn't need a big signal it just needs a very light 12 volt load so um, doesn't need much power so you don't have to worry about running something special to it but pretty cool item stay tuned for the uh, translated manual and until next time